right, YouTube. This is Ash 056. Um, this video is about how to clean a carburetor on a 1979. Well, they're all about the same. Honda 110 three wheeler. My car, but that ain't exactly dirty, but it's getting there. Yeah, ain't bad. Could use a paint job. I'm gonna see. The fender broke off. Like. It always hits the tire, and uh, I couldn't. I can see to get it up. I get the fender to stay upright, and uh, the tire it hit something on it, and it tore most of it off. So I just peeled the rest of it off. All right. Well, anyways, so first off, on your Honda, you need to take the seat and the fenders off. There should be a little tab under it. It's a matter of finding. That tab is on the right side. Now you must take the fuel tank off, which is just held down by the fender. It moves around freely, but you're going to want to block the fuel coming out of it. Or you don't block the fuel coming out, it's going to spill. So, what we're going to do, you turn the, there's a, a little knob on top of the gas tank, uh, on the lid. It says on and off, and there's a little knob on most of them. Turn it to the off position so fuel doesn't leak that. Get the fuel tank, slide it back off these two little knobs. There might there may be wires squeaky. Don't worry about those. Oh, that ain't good. Okay. Set your fuel tank upside down and it shouldn't leak. It looks dark around it, it's just the shadow. I spilled some of it. And some's come out of the carb. Some got there. I'm gonna make sure it's not leaking by lifting it up. I'm looking. You may want to tip it on that side like this. And set something beneath it so it don't leak. Now it will not leak for sure. Yeah, it moved a little. Now back to this. Alright, on on this the intake, this here, the, do not take it off here. It will not gonna be easy to do, mess with. Take it off at this part. These are ten millimeter um wrench, don't use a ratchet, you won't be able to get it on. And detach your air at the back of it. Let's zoom out here. Detach the air uh, box boot thing. Mine is detached already, I took it off earlier. Alright. Um you need a plier. For the tools for right now, you'll need it's a 10 millimeter. It's here. It's a 10. I don't know if you can see it. 10 and a plier. The plier. Set it to the large setting. Get grab the throttle screw. The tighten on the throttle. You twist it to the right. And it will come loose. Unscrew it. Gently slide the needle out. Don't let it get dirty.
Don't let any dirt get down the car. Now take your 10 millimeter and use it on this. I may get closer. Oh. Right there. <coughs> it may be tough to turn. You turn them to the right if you're standing on the left side. You stand at the back of your three wheeler and look at the front. You're on the left side, you're standing behind it. Get those loose. sucks I can't add any videos that are more than 10 minutes to YouTube. I'll just have to make a part two. I'm sure this is going to take a little while. So, but to clean the carburetor, you got to be careful so you don't get... Ooh, I can see some dirt in there. You got to be careful not to get parts dirty. You unscrew the bolt. Yeah, the bolt. Place your tools in a spot where you can find them. You may need them some more. You can't use a, ra a ratchet on this because you cannot fit a wrench in there unless it's a swivel. I have one, but it's not it's not a 10. 7 sixteenths. Yeah, I know it's leaking fuel here. I'm gonna throw a towel down. I'm gonna throw a towel down. It's getting on my tripod. Uh, how long is this? Set one. them out and set them in a safe spot where you will not lose them. And don't do that. <sighs> now it slides right off. And I'm just going to put the screws right here. This is about the safest spot you can put them. Off. You might want to buy a new gasket. Yeah, that's leaking a lot. Let's zoom out. The gasket, there's a gasket that goes there and on there. You may want to replace it because it, sometimes they tear and they're unuseful again. It's no longer useful. Alright. All that second row is all tools. That top row, a lot of them is. And those three tool chests are full of tools. That one on top is too. That was the yellow one. I, yeah, there's a lot of tools in here. Anyways, back to work. Don't drop your carburetor. You will want to set it on a clean surface. I know this isn't exactly too clean. Here, hold on, let me set my tripod up. Run out of time. Alright. I will make a part two. Thanks, YouTube.